I'm going to be making a series of short video tutorials to support teachers as they learn Scratch programming to teach basic geometry concepts to their students. I'm going to start off making a square and it'd be a good idea to have your students walk the square and try and come up with instructions for making a square before actually programming it. I would suggest changing your sprite. The default is the cat, but it's nice to start with something that has a bit of a direction to it from above. So I'm going to select the beetle. To delete our cat, you can click on the scissors up at the top here and then click on the cat to delete it. I'm also going to shrink my beetle, make it a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and have our beetle draw a square. Under events, we will go to the when green flag is clicked and I recommend stopping or pausing this video and creating this in Scratch yourself as well. For motion, we will move 100 steps because 10 steps is a little bit small in Scratch World and your students will tell you that you need to turn 90 degrees at each corner. Because it's a square, we're going to be doing this four times. So under control, we go to repeat four times. And just for effect, you might want to add in a wait. So under control, you can wait one second after moving and then wait one second after turning. We would like the beetle to leave the mark as it moves. So we're going to put our pen down. And when you replay this, you want it to clear the previous square. So we'll put the clear uh, block in there as well. So let's run that and see how it looks. So you can see it's waiting a second after it turns and waiting a second after it walks. By giving your students the opportunity to draw two-dimensional shapes in this way, we're placing more emphasis on spatial reasoning, which studies have shown is a way to increase meaning when students study geometry. You can read more about this idea in the Mathematics Journal 2012 article by Barbara Kanash.